Okay guys, today we're going to do a alternative to what I normally do for CPU coolers, which is normally a very high-end or a water cooling style. Today we're going to do the Pure Rock Slim 2 by Be Quiet. And here we're just going to show uh, basically what comes in the box. So if you're an Intel boy, those are your brackets. That is for your fan. Typically the same style you see on pretty much any type. The Pure Wings 2, it comes with one fan. I, I don't know why I pluralized it or made it sound so wow. Look at the finish on this aluminum. I just fell in love with the quality here. I mean, this is a $40 USD and I believe a $60 Canadian cooling fan. So what the idea here is now is to see how it stacks up against AMD's 3600 uh, factory cooler. Now, um, in this review, of course, I'm going to make it fair. I will remove the thermal paste that came on this cooler just in case it uh, gives it a disadvantage or an advantage. And again, everything is stock on this. So if you are doing AMD, the stock connectors are already on it. This is really odd too, because normally I'm used to seeing Intel's stock coolers on the product. And now we see a flip side where it's AMD's stock connectors on the, on the product and, and the Intel secondary. So that's kind of cool. So just clean it off. I use MX4 for the test, just to make everything fair. Our Arctic Silver MX4 is my go-to. Okay guys, so we're gonna mount this up now and get everything all ready to go and run the final tests. Alrighty here, so uh, it is the Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 3600. This is the factory cooler versus the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim 2. And again, this is a uh, 40 USD cooler, $60 Canadian. Um, on idle, the numbers are looking kind of, we'll call it margin of error. They're kind of pretty much identical here, except for the uh, now and the minimum. But other than that, it's still close enough to be uh, margin of error. Okay, so uh, here's where things get a bit different. So 15 minute runtime on idle was the first uh, bar graph we've seen. Here is 15 minutes on OCCT, and I pushed just the CPU. It says the CPU push as hard as I could push it. Look at these numbers. So factory now, that is basically what uh, the temperatures went down to right after the program stopped. So it went down to 70 on the factory, and it went down to 45 on the Be Quiet. That is massive. Then on minimum, so minimum was idle basically, uh, the min was 26 on the uh, Be Quiet and 30, again, not enough to call anything. But then we have a max temp on the factory at 93, that's almost thermo people. And then on the Be Quiet, the max was 78. That is just damn right impressive for a price tag at this point. All right, guys, well, this is my review of Be Quiet's Pure Rock Slim 2. And I got to say that I'm overall impressed. This comes in at quite the right price tag for the uh, not getting crazy about the price tag of a product, you know, moving forward. If you're on more of a budget, but you want to do better than factory cooling, this is definitely a good answer. Yeah, especially with the option you could get a couple more clips put a rear fan on there or a front fan i did it backwards but it doesn't matter as it's an open air bench but uh the gist of it is you could have a push pull system on there and have much better results possibly now the overall benefits of this cooler versus the factory of course is staying in boost mode much longer due to thermos uh, longevity of the processor overall as you're not going to be running your product as hot as the factory cooler when pushed so just uh, overall a perfect design in my opinion and this is you know my take on it uh, I will leave links down below for this product uh, there'll be Amazon affiliate links for 
.com and .ca if you're looking for this product. And guys, it'll just help the channel out. Thank you. And again, sorry I'm not in the video, but due to my mouth operation, I don't want to be seen. I am ugly. Anyway, guys, till next time, game over.